It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Spend millions of dollars on something and then toss it aside. But that is just what's happening right now at Great Meadow Correctional Facility in Comstock. We've got the documentation right here detailing all the taxpayer money being spent at the prison that is about to close. And you better believe you paid for it. As the state of New York gets set to close the doors at Great Meadow Correctional in Comstock, it still hasn't closed the books on some major construction projects at the prison. We've obtained the documents that show what was and is being done at Great Meadow, even as the state knew it was considering closing it. The shutdown will happen in November. This document outlines a $5 million project to do repair work on the perimeter wall. Some of that going on as we watched. This one, an $8.1 million project to replace windows in Building 9. The end date on both those projects is the second half of 2025, close to a year after the prison is scheduled to be mothballed. Here's the contract information for a project scheduled to end weeks before the closure. Electrical work in cell block C and D in Building 2, $4.3 million. I'm reaching deep. Yeah. Rick Vladka is a former corrections lieutenant at Great Meadow. He has seen the work firsthand. The plumbing the heating, the HVAC, new windows, new insulation. There's new floors in there. The whole place is ready to go. It is completely... But where's it going to go? It's They're going to shut it down and it's going to go nowhere. The prison sits in the district of State Senator Dan Stack. It's infuriating. The news of all the pricey projects did not sit well with him. To know that right before in the, in the lead up to this, they are still having contractors and tens of millions of dollars being spent here. You know, this is money that could go to a lot of other places. Somebody should have known, hey, you know, we're about to close this. Don't do that. Don't, don't do this. The option to close up to five state prisons was part of the state budget passed in April. In July, the state chose Great Meadow and Sullivan Correctional for closure, citing a variety of factors. Docs, the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision, tells us that projects at the prison the past five years total approximately $54 million. And in a prepared statement, Doc says, quote, the projects you reference have been in the planning for years. With the facility closing in November, the projects will help preserve the state's assets for any possible reuse of the property, end quote. There are other questions about finances and your taxpayer dollars in closing this prison. It houses the only chemical lab in the state prison system. It's known as the soap factory. This is a superior product. New York Clean hand sanitizer was produced at Great Meadow during the pandemic. Diesel exhaust fluid is made there for government entities all across the state. Now a new chemical shop may have to be put together at a different prison, and that could be millions more. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, who would, who would spend money like that? I'll tell you who, the state of New York. It's unclear what will become of Great Meadow. There's nothing you can do there. There's nothing you can use that place for other than incarcerating individuals. Because of its proximity to the Adirondack Park, future usage could be tricky. They can't sell it. Who's going to buy a prison? I'm not in the market for one today. Not too far away, Mount McGregor Correctional closed in 2014. That was 10 years ago. It still sits empty. This building is likely to sit there and rot for decades. They're not, they're not going to use it for anything. Uh, and uh, but yeah, it'll have brand new plumbing and brand new, uh, you know, brand new uh, infrastructure inside it and no one using it. Now, I've also learned from docs that a major upgrade of the facility's powerhouse is almost done now. Total cost of that, $14 million. It will continue to provide power to the smaller Washington Correctional Facility right across the street. And docs tells me it is still evaluating options when it comes to the chemical lab or soap shop, as it's called.